สวัสดีค่ะมาพบกับ CAC อีกแล้วนะคะสวัสดีน้องๆทางไลฟ์ด้วยนะคะวันนี้นะคะพี่พี่เซซก็มีมหาวิทยาลัยนะคะที่มีชื่อเสียงนะคะทางด้านวิศวกรรมศาสตร์นะคะทางด้านเทคโนโลยีของประเทศจีนนะคะมาแนะนําให้น้องๆได้รู้จักกันวันนี้นะคะได้เป็นเกียรติได้รับเชิญจากมหาวิทยาลัย U E T C นะคะหรือชื่อเต็มของเขาจะเรียกชื่อว่า University of Electronics Science and Technology of China นั่นเองค่ะมหาลัยนี้นะคะตั้งอยู่ที่เมืองเฉิงตู่นั่นเองนะคะเป็นเมืองหมีแพนด้านะใครอยากไปเที่ยวชมหมีแพนด้าให้ไปเรียนที่มหาลัยนี้แล้วก็จะได้ไปเที่ยวที่เฉิงตูด้วยนะคะซึ่งมหาลัยนี้ค่ะติดท็อป20ของมหาลัยจีนนะคะที่มีชื่อเสียงที่สุดในประเทศจีนเลยนะคะเป็นมหาลัยที่มีชื่อเสียงทางด้านคอมพิวเตอร์ซายนะคะคนไหนที่อยากจะเรียนสาขาคอมพิวเตอร์ไซแอนด์เทคโนโลยีเนี่ยให้ไปเรียนที่นี่นะหลักสูตรภาษาอังกฤษนี่เขาดีและดังมากๆเลยในเชิงตูนะคะนอกจากนี้นะคะมหาวิทยาลัยนี้เขายังอยู่ในโครงการ985แล้วก็211ด้วยนะคะเป็นมหาลัยที่ท็อปทางด้านพัฒนาทางด้านวิทยาวิทยาศาสตร์และก็เทคโนโลยีและก็วิศวกรรมเป็นพร้อมกันนะคะวิทยาการสารสนเทศของเขาก็โดดเด่นเช่นกันค่ะสาหรับมหาลัยนี้เพื่อเป็นการไม่เสียเวลานะคะเดี๋ยวเราไปรับชมและรับฟังนะคะจากอาจารย์ได้เลยค่ะอาจารย์หวังนะคะมาให้ความรู้น้องๆแล้วก็มาแนะนําการสมัครกับมหาวิทยาลัยนี้นะคะเชิญเลยค่ะขอเชิญใครเชิญป้าโอเค thank you thanks for the introduction and hello everyone hello hi <laughs> Uh, welcome to our uh, admission talk. We are from University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Yeah, it's a long name, so we will call it UESTC for short. Okay. So before my presentation, okay, I forgot my presentation. Uh, my name is Wang Ya. You can call me Miss Wang. I'm from School of International Education in UESTC, and many in charge of the Admission for international students. Okay, so before my uh, specific presentation, I would like to invite you to watch a piece of video about our city and our university. Okay.
food in Sichuan is the absolute best I have eaten anywhere. Fiery, spicy, very delicious. Uh, the school is known for, for its electronic science and engineering school. Plus, this university is the best university in Sichuan. And USTC have advanced technologies, advanced labs, so that's why I choose USTC. I like this campus because it's a lot of uh, green areas and it's uh, really calm and peaceful. Uh, I think that this uh, place is great to live. Welcome to UESTC. Okay, thank you. And so now let's start our presentation today. Okay, so now I think I do hope that you, you could have a very good impression about our city and our university. Now today, uh, my presentation will include the following four parts. Why do you choose UESTC and our international programs uh, provided to you and our scholarship policies and application procedure? The, the fourth part is our campus life. Number one, why UESTC? And you can see clearly from the map, this is the, um, the Chinese map, and our um, university is located in the southwest of China. And uh, our city, Chengdu, that is the capital city of Sichuan province, the top four city in China. And the, the city is also the hometown of Panda, and uh, we have very delicious food like hot pot. And uh, we have uh, rich traditional cultural heritages uh, as well as modern facilities. Uh, we can use the following four words to describe our city. That is prosperous, convenient, open, and habitable. You can see very clearly the, uh, there's some facts from these keywords. And also uh, Chengdu, the city is the largest software industry base in the West China. And this industry cluster of facts has attracted international famous companies invest here, like you know, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, Huawei, et cetera. So if you could study here and graduate from university, it would be um, more easy to find internship or jobs from these related um, counselings. Okay, let's go back to our um, university, the history. Our university was founded in 90, 1956. And after four years development, it was initially ranked as a national key university in China since 1997. Now our university has realized a giant leap. It becomes a top 36 university in China. So you know in China, we have more than 2,600 universities and our university ranks top 36. Also, uh, our UESTC is the only one university, key university focused on the development of electronic science and technology. Well, you can see the, um, here's some, um, I mean, the ranking related each uh, thing. Firstly, um, according to the best global ranking around the world, our university ranks top six uh, in the electronic, electrical and electronic engineering, and number eight in the artificial intelligence, number 12 in computer science. You know, um, actually our university not only enjoys sound reputation, uh, around the world, but also performs well in our Chinese ranking. You can see um, like also electronic science, information communication engineering, that is top two 
uh, in China, computer science top five. And we also have five uh, disciplines uh, ranked top 20 in China. They are instrument science, biomedical engineering, software engineering, and management science, and business administration. So uh, now our university has the faculty members are uh, more than 2,600 and including um, uh, 699 full professors. Also, we have a very big uh, student population. You can see um, our university is really a diverse community, which welcomes students from China and overseas. So the total student population reaches to almost 40,000. And each year we received applications from over 100, 120 countries and regions around the world. And we have different levels of students. We have undergraduate, master, and the PhD students, okay? So in terms of the international cooperation, uh, actually uh, we have uh, established cooperative relations with more than 200 universities, scientific institutions, and enterprise, enterprises from 70 countries. And uh, several universities and institutions such as University of Glasgow in UK and the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden have developed a very high quality and high level cooperative mode of running schools with us. So let's talk about the second part, our international programs. Here is the, uh, the list of the programs we provided to our, um, I mean, to our uh, applicants who want to study um, bachelor in our university. Okay, so you can see very clearly we, um, we have both Chinese taught and English taught programs. Actually, the majors here um, co cover almost all of our strongest disciplines in our university. Um, it's worth to be mentioned the major computer science and the technology. Um, the school provides um, um, both Chinese taught and English taught um, programs to our um, undergraduates. Okay. And uh, besides, we have also like the um, electronic information engineering, software engineering, mechanical, and um, biomedical engineering, and uh, information management and information system, business administration in Chinese, okay? And uh, pay attention here. Um, if you want to um, apply for our, um, I mean, the 2023 this year, and the four in the four semester intake. So you, you should know that actually our application system has already opened and uh, um, the deadline will be the end of this uh, June. Okay, so if you are interested in our programs, please pay attention to the deadline. And uh, actually, so let's talk a little bit more about the major computer science because we have English and Chinese top programs. And actually this, the discipline of this computer science ranks uh, 12th right in the in the world so each year we received a lot of applicant uh, applications uh from this major so i want to talk a little bit more about this major i know most of you are from high school student right so um yes maybe in, you you have um a very a little bit clear or not clear idea in your future so um, when you decide to choose a major, I think you, you, you should know more about the, the details you, you will learn from the major and what you could do in the future, right? So um, in this uh, field of computer science, you must know that, um, you know, actually this um, field 
plays a very important role in various industries, relying on software engineering, big data technology, information technology, artificial intelligence, etc. And computer science has become a part that cannot be ignored in the process of modern production and life. I will give you some very exact examples. Uh, yeah, you can see um, there are two pictures here. Uh, there are two apps, actually. I think you most of you are very familiar with them. Number one is the uh, app for you know, learning Chinese and uh, um, the grab here. Um, that is your, right? <laughs> you should know that we can easy to you know, to to um, to make an appointment of the private car from this um, grab. It is really very good to, and convenient our daily life, right? So, but you should know, um, this is like the final result I and mean, the final um, uh, creation of the of the of the pro programming, right? And, uh, but these, these are really very related to our computer science knowledge. And I can also give you some other examples. Let's take my own experience as example on campus, you know? So when I was on our UESTC campus, I'm buying something um, at the stores. There's no need for me to pay it by cash. As long as I have like a smartphone, I can pay it online via um, Alipay. And another technology applied in our university is the facial recognizing. When I'm going to pass the entrance um, from library, there is no need for me to read my identity card. I just stand in front of the screen um, and look at the, the facial recognizing uh, screen, then my face and my personal information can be exactly recognized by the machine. So actually this technique is self-invented by our ESTC and applied to our campus. I think this, so you can see this strong processing capability and artificial intelligence technology up back it up by computer science. So that's a very general um, introduction about this major. And I do hope that if you are interested in it, you can uh, yeah, Google it. And also you can send us email and know more about it. So after graduation from um, undergraduate program from our university, you can continue to pursue your PhD, uh, your master or PhD program, right? In our university, we provide um, English taught majors uh, for our international program, for international students. And uh, you can see there are two lists. Mm. For masters and or PhDs, we, we, we do these majors to uh, cover our strongest discipline. But uh, actually, if you are you want to apply for the 2023 intake, actually the system has already been closed. Okay, but if you are just a high school student, so you can make a very exact um, study plan for your future if you want to continue study, right? Okay, so. Um, in addition to the degree programs, we also offer our international students like the pre non-degree programs. Number one is the pre-university program. Okay, this is really very good for our students, um, especially for high school students. If you um, would like to study uh, in our university as a undergraduate um, student, but you didn't meet like the requirements right now. So you can um, apply for the our pre-university program. Actually, so um, if you could pass the final evaluation from the pre-university program, then you can you know directly enter our undergraduate program. 
Um, so, and if you are not interested in our degree programs, you just want to know more about China and uh, know more about the culture, the language here. So I think the, our Chinese language program will be your best choice. Okay, here is like uh, a screenshot from our official English website. Um, yeah, if you are interested, you can go later after my presentation and you can find easily the information you want to know, okay? Now, okay, now the, let's move to the third part, the scholarship and application. This is our fee structure for our each program. And it's worth to be mentioned, um, we could provide you like the medical insurance in China uh, to guarantee your safety here. And uh, the meals, we can see the living cost in our city, Chengdu, it's actually it's much lower than, you know, the coastal cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou. Actually in Chengdu, you can cost a little bit lower, but you can have a very good, um, living, uh, you good, very living uh, life here, okay? I think this part scholarship are really very uh, important for most of our applicants. I will give you some simple introduction. And for our, um, from our university, we provide the following four part, four types of scholarship. One is the Chinese government scholarship, we call it the CSC scholarship. That is a top scholarship in China. Number two is the Chengdu government scholarship. This scholarship is issued by our city Chengdu and to attract the, the outstanding students to study here. And the third um, scholarship means name uh, university scholarship. Okay, the fourth one is the International Chinese Language Teacher Scholarship. This scholarship is really very specific. Um, so uh, for our side, because most of you are high school students, so I would like to focus on the uh, scholarship or, um, you know, if you want to study undergraduate programs here, which scholarships you could apply. Okay, so we will focus on the first two. Um, uh, types and give you the uh, explanation. Number one is Chinese government scholarship. Uh, actually, for our undergraduate applicants, um, you only type A, the bilateral program is available for you. And uh, actually, this scholarship, you should, um, how to say, apply directly from the um, like the education related departments in your country uh, or the ambassade of China in your country, no need to apply directly from us, okay? And uh, this is the CSA scholarship. And for this, um, this scholarship, if you are under this scholarship, you have to uh, learn the programs in Chinese, okay? This is like kind of requirement you should know. The second scholarship that I want to emphasize is the Chengdu government scholarship. Actually, we have two types. One is Chengdu sister city scholarship. Number two is the Chengdu the Belt and Road Initiative scholarship. Uh, the first Chengdu sister city scholarship, as you know, this is issued by Chengdu government and to attract the citizens from our sister cities of Chengdu to study here. It's very lucky that I found there are three cities or province in Thailand are uh, our sister cities. Okay, listen carefully. They are Bangkok, Chiang Mai, and uh, I'm trying to pronounce correctly, Yubong, Rachu, and Tani. Okay, if you are, that means if you are uh, from these two, three areas, and no matter you are born or study, work, living, okay, so you can, you're qualified to apply for this Chengdu Sister City Scholarship. So if you got the scholarship, 
it will cover your tuition fee and, and uh, dormitory fee on campus in, uh, in Chengdu. It will last four years. Okay, so it's really very good for our students, especially for us, um, Thailand students who are coming from the three areas. Okay, and uh, also if you are from other areas of Thailand, no matter what, you can also apply for Chengdu, the Belt and Road Scholarship. This scholarship is um, issued for the citizens from our Belt and Road Initiative countries of China. So Thailand, of course, is in this list. Okay. And also, um, where to apply UESTC online application system, I will show you later. And uh, when to apply, okay, now for the system is already open and uh, the deadline, don't forget the end of June. But I suggest if you are interested in our programs and, the, and also the scholarship, you should uh, submit your documents actually um, at least before May, it will be good to, you know, to do the evaluation for us. Mm, this is a big picture about the requirement and every deadline of our application. Um, let's pay attention to the undergraduate one. Okay, here is the, the age requirement from 19 to 25, okay. So the education background you should be an academically excellent holder of senior high school diploma. You must um, graduate from high school. But some students might say that um, they are now uh, in the in the last year, right? They didn't get the certificate. It doesn't matter. Um, you can let your school to provide like. Um, um, attestation, okay, to just let us know that you are current final year student, then um, you can, how to say, to, to send us, resend us your uh, certificate of graduation um, when you get it, okay, maybe in July or um, um, in August, no problem. It will not influence your, um, I mean, your application. For the language, okay, uh, if you are um, if you want to apply for the English instructed program, so you need to get like top for at least 80 else, 5.5 or equivalent. Look, equivalent, it means you you can, if you are studying like international uh, high school in Thailand, so you can also um, qualify to apply for also, um, we accept like the Dolingo test or other equivalent test. And in other students, if you don't have such kind of requirement, uh, no problem, you can send us email and let us know more about your situation and we will give you some suggestions about your application, okay? Mm, if you want to learn in Chinese, so uh, that, that would, you have to pass like HSK. Uh, four here, if you want to study undergraduate program, so your HSK4 should um, be more than um, 210, okay. Mm -hmm. So for the pre-university program, you should know that the age requirement is same as the uh, undergraduate ones. And uh, also you should get like the um, graduation Certificate from high school, okay. Now here is the uh, um, exact introduction about um, the procedure to apply from your side. Uh, here, number one, don't forget to submission of application online. Number two, we will do like the initial review for your documents. Then after that, you need to pay the application fee. We will arrange an interview with you. Number four, we will have an academic review. Okay, number five is scholarship review and confirmation. And number six, that is a complete of our application. 
Okay, the last part is about our campus life. So here, I think you can see very our beautiful sceneries on campus in the four different seasons. It's really very um, amazing. And our facilities, uh, like our teaching building, our classroom is really very um, multi-functional. Okay, and uh, the library here, we have four state key libraries, or five, sorry, and a four state engineering libraries, one national engineering research center. Uh, and our library here, it's really very, um, also, um, we have all some, um, how, many, how many, the printed books and electronic books. It's really good for your study and to do your research here. Um, now, sports center here. It attracts me a lot, you know. If, uh, you can see we have student activity center, outdoor playground, swimming pool, and indoor gym. Dormitory, it's our students concern a lot about this part. Uh, in our university, we provide the um, individual, I mean, the, the kitchen room, the laundry for our um, international students. And we have 15 cafeterias on campus. You can find every different kind of food here, like, you know, hot pot, the barbecue, <laughs> and the Western food, Chinese food, um, also halal food. Okay, it's diverse. And the transportation for our university is really very, very convenient. In Chengdu, we have two international airports, and uh, we have a lot of direct flight from Chengdu to Thailand. It's really very close, our two, um, I mean, to from Chengdu to Bangkok to Chiang Mai, it's really very close. It takes around two or three hours. And uh, we have uh, metro, shuttle bus, and shared bicycles. It's very convenient for your daily life. Also, we have our own university hospital. Mm. That is the uh, number one university hospital within the Southwest region. And we have many international student associations. Okay, they will organize different activities, cultural activities, and for you, You can see we have some um, Chinese bridge context, international student New Year party, some cultural festival, cultural experience, different types. And uh, the last part is the supporting service here. You know, um, we have a special office, we call it International Student Affairs Office. So like me, I'm just in Bundy's office, we will do um, the job focusing on our international students' requirements. So like we will help you to, um, you know, deal with your visa problem, your medical insurance problem, your teaching or your study problem. Okay. And uh, this page is important, it's our contact information. Uh, so if you are interested in our programs or if you have any questions, uh, you can send us email here, admission at uestc.edu.cn. This is our official email. Yeah, we will um, reply you in time. And uh, there are two QR codes. Number one is our UESTC admission WeChat group. Uh, this is for the 2023 intake. So if you are interested in, you can scan the QR code and join our group and our um, staff will be very happy to answer your questions. Besides, we also have our Facebook and the Twitter account. So you are so welcome to join our group. Okay, I will give you some, yeah, some 
one minute to yeah to note this contact information. Yeah, and uh, if you scan the the group, then I will know it. Okay. Thank you very much. I think that's a very basic introduction about our university and our programs. And uh, now, um, I think I will give you like a very show you another video about our um, about our campus life, which is um, how to say it's uh, it's made by our international students. And after that, if you have any questions, you can uh, send us, send me the message from the chatting board, or you can ask me after this video. Okay.
Thank you for watching. So now let's go to our last part, Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, anyone? Okay. Um, first question. If I want to apply for bachelor degree, do I need to take the entrance examination? Okay, now to now from our UESTC, um, uh, we don't have very we don't have a spe special entrance examination, but you need to pass our initial review, like the dormitory review, and we will have a face-to-face -face interview. Mm, that's all. I think I answered the question from Sally Cha, right? Welcome. Okay, Lily said, does the Chengdu government scholarship cover the tuition all four years? Okay, the answer is yes. According to the regulation of the sister, the Chengdu scholarship, um, the, it will cover your tuition fee for four years. But you pay attention, they will do like the evaluation of your study performance each year. So if everything is normal, no problem, you will keep the scholarship for four years. But if you did really very bad, then it will have some risk to, you know, they, they will stop the scholarship. But this is a very, this is a common regulation for every type of scholarship. Besides our, if you, um, and got the Chengdu government scholarship, it will cover your also the dormitory fee on campus and also the medical insurance in China. You should know that. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? How about uh, living allowance? That means living cost. No, the Chengdu government scholarship will not cover the living cost. Mm. You should prepare that for yourself from yourself. But that's um, the Chengdu government scholarship is really very good for our undergraduate applicants. You should know that actually um, some of our um, um, our undergraduate um, students are self-sponsored and uh, also because the seats from the CSC scholarship type A are also very limited. So I think the Chengdu government scholarship it can give you some very good choice if you really want to study in RUESTC in Chengdu. Okay, Lily, do you have question, any other question? No, okay, thank you. Okay, Sunny Cha, please. Uh, GDE qualification. Sorry, Mick, could you give me an explanation about GDE? Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I, I've already told you during my presentation, if you don't have out score, um, we will take your like um, English study experience in high school into consideration. And also, um, if you have any other um, proof to 
uh, documents to prove your English competence, competence, we were all taken into consideration. So I think you have your very specific and um, special situation. You can contact me later from our um, by WeChat or by the email, um, by the um, official email. I think I can give you a very private um, suggestion. Okay. Welcome, Benicia. มีใครมีคำถามอีกไหมคะ Hello I think no more question now so, oh, Okay no problem Okay, okay. Thank you